Students in Minnesota are paying student loans at a rate that's illegal, according to the Minnesota Attorney General, who's taking action. Thank you for joining us tonight. Andrea has the evening off. An active lawsuit argues Globe University is pressuring students into loans without being clear about what they are signing up for. The maximum interest rate a school can charge in Minnesota is 8%, but Globe University is charging more than double that. That's according to Minnesota's Attorney General. She says the university is charging 18%. On top of that, the lawsuit says the university isn't a licensed leader. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson shows us what happens if you find yourself in an illegal loan and how you get the right loan. Promising to pay thousands of dollars back, a commitment Carolyn Zarin, student loan expert, says many students take too lightly. I hear so many times from students, well, I'm not going to worry about that now. I'll get a great job, I'm going to be making a great salary when I graduate from college, and I'll be able to pay it. A group some feel can be easily taken advantage of. For a student, any of these um, off the wall or non recognized loan programs are the scary. It's like going to um, a money lender. That's why the Minnesota Attorney General's office is suing Globe University. The school is taking advantage of their dreams. Attorney General Lori Swanson says it's not just Globe University and it's not just Minnesota. She claims there's plenty of loan companies trying to rip you off. Well, you know, when they're starting out, they're coming out of high school, they haven't incurred, you know, financial loans before. These loan products can be, um, you know, pretty complicated. Her advice, take advantage of federal loans and read the fine print if you must take out a private loan. I heard is what we hear periodically. Well, somebody told me, or I thought, or I guessed. No, get the facts. Zarin says if it's too overwhelming, seek expert help and be careful who you trust. In the case of Globe University, the attorney general advises students for now to keep paying their loans. Don't know if the school would sue them or if the school would, you know, try to file a report with the credit bureau to hamper, harm their credit. I just don't know what the school would do. If the state finds Globe University is in the wrong, students could get some money back. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. The case against Globe University is set to go on trial in November. On top of getting students money back, the lawsuit's asking for changes in practices, a fine. Now, we reached out to the university, but we've not heard back yet. Globe University has been accused of fraud in the past, but it does have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau.